And greetings, friends. Today I want to talk about 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, verse 2, that says this. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted. In the day of salvation I have succored thee. Behold, now is the, the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And of course, a lot of Protestant ministers take this to mean that now is everyone's chance for salvation. Now, think of it for a minute. What about the three-year-old Laotian baby who never heard the name Jesus Christ? What happens to that person? Since salvation is through no other, the Bible says, and she never accepted Jesus Christ as her personal Lord and Savior, where does she go when she dies, since they believe that when a person dies, they go to heaven or to hell? If now is the day of salvation, none other, where does this three-year-old Laotian baby go who's never heard the name Jesus Christ? Well, some of them say, well, if she's not saved, she's already saved. Really? Well, then what's the point of preaching the gospel? That negates the whole purpose of preaching the gospel. There's no point if she's already saved. And why would you send Christian ministers to her so she can have a chance to be lost? Think about it. If she's already saved and then she learns about Jesus Christ and about sin and she ends up sinning, she has a chance to be lost, doesn't she? Where before she did not because she was already saved. Or what about those heathen savages that never knew Jesus Christ? What happens to these people when they die? They're grown up, they're adults, they're morally responsible. What happens when they die? Well, they never knew Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ says, no man comes to the Father except by me. They've never accepted Jesus Christ, didn't know Jesus Christ. What happens to them when they die? Well, of course, the answer is automatically they go to hell. But is it really their fault? It's not their fault they've never heard the gospel. Yet these people say that they go to hell because now is the day of salvation, they say. Is that true? And think about it. If these people are automatically saved, like the three-year-old Laotian baby. Some say, like John MacArthur, that babies, when they're born, they're not morally responsible. They are already saved. If these people are automatically saved, is that fair to the Christian who is trying to obey God as best they can, overcoming many things in this world, being persecuted? Is that fair? That they're going through all this struggle in this world, yet other people are automatically saved? I mean, do people actually believe this kind of theology? Really? Now, what does this scripture really mean? Well, obviously, the Apostle Paul is quoting Isaiah, the 49th chapter, verse 8. And when you look at Isaiah, the 49th chapter, verse 8, you will find that there is no definite article. And it should read, in an acceptable time, I did hear you. In a day of salvation, I did help you. Lo, now is a now is a well accepted time. Lo, now a day of salvation. It is a day of salvation. There is no definite article in the Hebrew nor in the Greek in this passage, and it should read a day of salvation. So there is a day of salvation when God calls people. On this earth, there is a calling that is happening, and it is their day of salvation. When God calls you, you accept that calling, you begin to obey Almighty God, you are baptized and receive the Holy Spirit. And that is your day of salvation, it is a day of salvation, not the only day of salvation. And when you look at Hebrews, the ninth chapter, verse 27, it talks about men in this world, meaning the general population, not the called, but people, the general population in this world, it is appointed for man once to die, after this, the judgment. Then comes a time, you read in Revelation, the 20th chapter, verse 11 and 12, it talks about the great white throne judgment, and people will get their first chance, a real chance for salvation. So right now, it is a day of salvation for people for uh, people that God is calling. But eventually, all of mankind will have their first chance for salvation. So to say that this scripture proves that the only time of salvation is right now for the whole entire world is just another Bible misconception.